It's time to paint our hot dog and our cool cat. To do that, we are using watercolor paint. Now, watercolor paint is just like it sounds. It needs water. It looks like this. It comes as these hard cakes, but you can see which color is which. You'll also get a cup of water and a paintbrush. Now, whenever we use watercolor paint, we have to get our brush wet first. So I'm gonna put my brush in the water and I always draw an X. I don't scrub or scoot. I treat my brush like the ballerina that it is. Also, your brush has a squishy part. That's where you can hold to have control. We don't wanna hold on the metal that's too close to the top of the brush. So I'm gonna hold the squishy bit. I'm gonna draw an X, but now it's very drippy wet. I don't wanna drip water all over my dog and cat. So after I draw the X, I wipe it on the lip, the lip of the cup. Now I can bring my brush to my first color. Now I know my dog is hot colors or warm colors, yellow, orange, red. So these are the colors I can use with my dog. Yellow is the lightest color. So I'm gonna start with yellow because if I make my whole dog red and I try to add yellow, It'll mix and make orange, and I never, I'll never have yellow. So by starting with yellow, I make sure that I get a little bit of yellow on my dog. Now you can choose which colors you put where, but look how I'm gentle pulling my brush. I'm not pushing it, I'm pulling it across the paper. That spreads those colors out and makes them nice and smooth. It should look bright and watery. If it looks scratchy or light, you need more water, Wipe it on the lip and wipe it on your paint and try again. Now that I've added some yellow, I'm gonna wash my brush because I can't put my yellow brush in the orange or red paint. Draw an X in the water, wipe it on the lip. Now I can move to my next color. I'm gonna use orange next. I think I'll make most of my dog orange and then I'll add some red on top because I feel like it and I'm the artist. You can decide where you put the color. I'm being very careful to stay inside my lines. If I don't stay inside my lines, it's okay because we will cut out the shape in the end. But I want to practice being nice and neat. So I'm pulling my paintbrush and I'm doing it in one area at a time. If I paint like this all over, it's gonna be hard to keep track of where I'm done. So I want to paint in one area and slowly move across the body of my dog. This makes sure I don't miss any little white spaces. When we paint and color, we always want to fill in the whole picture. Before I switch to red, I draw an X in the water, wipe it on the lip. Now, when we're painting with watercolor paint, if my paint is still wet and I put another color next to it and they touch, they will mix together. Sometimes that can look cool, but sometimes we don't want that to happen. So here if I paint with red right next to my orange, I'm gonna try to be very careful, but I already see something that's happening. Let's look closer. Look how my red paint is starting to go into the orange. Now that's okay, no big deal. I'll just keep painting. But if I really didn't want that to happen, I would have to wait until the orange paint dried before I put the red paint next to it. I kind of like when the colors mix, so I'm gonna call that a happy accident and I'm just gonna keep painting. Now it's time to move on to my cool cat, which means I can use blue, green, and purple. You also might have indigo, which is a purpley blue. That's a cool color too. So I can use these four colors on my cat. I'm gonna wash my brush to make sure I have no warm colors left by drawing an X in the water. Wipe it on the lip and I'm gonna to move to my first color. Always be sure to check over your work and make sure both your hot dog and cool cat are completely painted neatly and with the right colors.